Is there a role for the use of Copaxone in multiple sclerosis in 2018, given all of the highly effective drugs that are now available to treat the disease? I'm going to answer this question right now. Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center. I was recently asked the following question. Is there a role for Copaxone in treating MS in 2018, given all the highly effective therapies that are now available? And so I want to dig in and try to answer that question. Copaxone is, in my opinion, a mildly effective medicine. It decreases relapse rate by about 30%. It has a modest impact on progression. And it has some effect on MRI. Copaxone is an injection uh, typically taken thrice weekly. Uh, given to you just under the skin. And the safety profile of Copaxone is quite handsome. Copaxone doesn't interact with other medicines. It doesn't cross a cell membrane. It doesn't stimulate a receptor. It's simply a chain of amino acids that you inject under your skin to show your immune system the response. And so, as we start to ask, should we be using Copaxone, I want to highlight the fact that this drug is considered very, very safe. And when I say it's safe, we now have over two decades worth of data to support that comment. Does Copaxone have a role in 2018 in the world of highly effective medicines? Yes and no. What do I mean by that? When I'm looking at a newly diagnosed patient and I'm concerned about their disease over the next 40 years, I'm not reaching for a low efficacy injection. I'm reaching instead for a, a high efficacy treatment because I want to try to uh, squash the disease as much as possible early on. And so my answer is no, as I'm picking highly effective drugs to try to better control MS. But there's a yes here as well. Under certain circumstances, I think Capaxin is your go-to drug. For example, off-label, many of us have started to prescribe Capaxin when women with MS are attempting conception. Now, again, this is off-label, but when you look at the data registries of women who conceived on Copaxone, it appears very, very safe. And increasingly, neurologists around the country are embracing this idea of keeping women protected from their MS during attempts at conception. And this is a role for Copaxone. Because Copaxone doesn't interact with other medicines, I also think it's appropriate to consider Copaxone in between high efficacy drugs. So if you're on a high efficacy drug and you have a side effect or a risk or a concern which will lead to you coming off, it may take a while to transition to the next high efficacy drug. There may be half a washout, you may need MRIs. The point is, in between, you might be able to keep that patient safe by using Copaxone. There's also other comorbid conditions that you could have along with MS that make Copaxone very attractive. So when our patients with MS unfortunately also develop a cancer or an immune deficiency uh, or something like that, then reaching for Copaxone makes a world of sense because we can treat their disease but not interfere with the other condition or with the medicines for the other condition. So, in summary, the answer to the question is both yes and no. Copaxone in 2018 does have a role, although I think that role has shifted a bit. Once again, my name is Aaron Boster. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video and you like to hear more like it, please make sure you subscribe down below and click that notification button. And please leave your comments and questions. I would love to hear your opinions on where you feel this drug fits in. Thank you. Have a great day.